Hello, 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 my fabulous friends. Yes, Nix is back to the land of the living. Oh my gosh. Yes, it has been oh, oh, two weeks since I put out any videos at all. Uh, Nix's notions kept me hopping. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was literally swamped with um, getting customers' orders out. Uh, matter of fact, I didn't even really have a whole lot of time to diamond paint until, honestly, the past day or two. So what you see here is literally what I knocked out in, in the past 24 hours. Um, but I'm all caught up. Everybody's orders went out. I think I shipped out something like 30 orders um, Saturday. So, yes, uh, that fifth number five 3D printer really came in handy. Yep, I ended up having to buy a fifth one. I am now the proud owner of a 3D printer farm. Google it. It's a thing. Um, but yeah, it really helped out a lot, so I was able to get all caught up on everybody's orders and finally have to have the ability to keep up with everybody now and have faster turnarounds and be able to have time for myself because I tell you, for the past two months, it was a eat, sleep, and breathe job. You guys uh, kept me hopping. And trust me, I am not complaining. Do not misunderstand. I am not complaining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been so fabulous. And thank you for all of the support and all of the kindness and everything shown towards Nix's notions. You guys are the best. You rock. Yes, you do. Um, this is the diamond painting that I'm working on. I just started it. It is Christmas morning. Uh, in my last whip and chat, I discussed this because uh, it's for my kids. So, and it's huge. Yes, it's very huge. So, uh, that was another reason for the fifth 3D printer, because of the fact that, yeah, I had to have time to be able to get this done, because this is a Christmas present, and I am literally scared to death that I am not going to get it finished and get in the mail to Texas uh, before Christmas, because I would really hate for this to show up on Christmas Day, because they put up their tree and do all their Christmas decorating literally on Thanksgiving, so... That is my goal. I, I want this to be in the mail to them or around Thanksgiving. So, who knows? I might even hand deliver it. Um, at this moment, I don't think so. But that there is that possibility. Because I, I, I do miss my little monkeys. Uh, my grandkids. I miss them a lot. Um, so, yeah. This is uh, one... It is sideways uh, due to the fact that it is humongous. So I have this I haven't started working on yet. Um, this is the left side of the canvas. If you if you oh, if you turned it this way, see there's the lamp and, and the top of the hearth, then here's the fireplace down here. Um, but yeah. Even though I did get a bigger desk, I still did not have room to um, to do it that way. So it, this seems to be an easier way of doing it. And it, uh, other than the fact that I'm having to look at it sideways to make sure I get the the, the uh, again those half square triangles always get me. Um, but so far, it is turning out really, really gorgeous, and I am so happy with it. Uh, I am not going to, I'm going to try not to turn on the light, because uh, it always glares you guys out. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to pick something that I can see and work on that. And I am using my Art Dot um, stackable trays, which uh, I will have the link 
in the uh, click the show more button it'll give you a drop down and all of the links for it will be there so oh my gosh I have missed you guys yes I have I, I don't know if y'all have missed me or not. Matter of fact, my, my poor friend in Canada, my girlfriend Marilyn, she called me and she goes, Okay, I haven't heard from you in three weeks. Are you still breathing? Yes, I'm still breathing. Because she goes, I haven't seen any Facebook posts. I haven't seen any YouTube videos. You haven't, you haven't video chatted me. What's going on? And it's like, nope. Uh, I, I, have, I have been in the land of work mode so you guys have definitely oh i don't know if i showed y'all this or not this is the new nix's notions tray remember i told you guys last time we talked about a uh, customer request she wanted one of these but she wanted it shorter so that that's what this is it's identical to the other one it is one eighth inch thick it is bulletproof um and it has the two sides the two lines on the left and the right have been shortened so no more drills getting stuck in the corners that was another customer request so yeah so there it is and i like it it does really good um i did not finish mask of love that is the only reason why you are not seeing a video of it um I haven't done any videos. Trust me, the the unboxings in there are piling up. Um, those are those are on the way. Um, but yeah, seriously, I haven't had time to do nothing but Nix's notions and get everybody's orders out. Cause my OCD kicks me in a hiney about that. Cause it's one of those. Hey, if I tell somebody they're gonna. Their order is going to be shipped on such and such day. Yeah, it gets shipped on that day. And if it don't, trust me, I am having a conniption. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have... Oh, i got to take my paper off here. Uh, I hope you guys have been doing good. Leave me a comment, man. What y'all been doing while I've been, while I've been away? Everybody getting ready for Halloween? Oh my gosh, what is this? Today's the 17th? Man, we got like, what, a week, week and a half left till Halloween? Oh my gosh, where has this month gone? Where has this year gone? Wow, it is, it is literally just flown by. Um, but yeah. So, uh, what, what are we doing for Halloween? Mr. E hasn't started decorating yet. He normally, we um, we like to decorate in advance if we have the time, but he's been busy as well. So he always takes the last uh, the last week of October off on vacation. So that normally that's when he breaks out all of the Halloween stuff and decorates the yard. I'll take pictures. Uh, I'll take pictures and videos, and I'll post them on uh, Facebook and and Instagram, so y'all can see them, see the yard and and everything. Kids really like it. Um, we had a candy shoot last year, and uh, you know, due to COVID, and oh my gosh, the kids loved it. They it was just big wide uh i think it was like a 14 inch pvc pipe and it was like 10 foot long and um it was i painted it with neon green and orange and um all kinds of halloween colors and the kids would come up because we had covid and you couldn't get close to anybody last year so the kids would come up and they would put their bucket at the end of the pole of the chute and they would you know they'd hang their little bucket there and um they they loved that they just thought that was the next best thing to cheerios they couldn't figure out where the candy was coming from and uh it'd slide down in their bucket and they'd get their bucket and next thing you know their head was in in the pole wondering where the candy come from 
So that turned out really cute. I think we're going to do that again this year because it was, it was a whole lot of fun. And uh, the kids really liked it a lot. So, and we have like, um, I have to say our average age is in between uh, 2 and 10. Uh, they're about, we do get a couple of the older kids, which I'm one of those people I don't mind older kids coming because I at least you know where they're at and you know they're they're going around the neighborhood collecting candy there is no such thing as too old for Halloween or not in my book anyway so um but yeah most of the time we have like you know the family bringing their kids around and and what have you so um yeah so we do that so, what are you guys doing? Leave me a comment, man. What What are y'all doing for Halloween? You decorating? You not You not decorating? Show me some pics. Go by my Facebook page, man, or or tag me in Instagram. Let me see what you see what you doing for Halloween. Um, I'm excited. I haven't I haven't done too much. Normally, this is my shopping time of the year, but honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't even been out of the house. I think I did make it to the mailbox. Um, but yeah, I haven't I haven't been out of the house to, uh, to go anywhere or do anything. I missed it this year. But honestly, from what I've, what I've seen, what people have told me, is that the stores really didn't have a whole lot this year due to the fact that everybody was shopping online. So I think the stores just literally didn't buy. So I don't feel like I've missed too much. But uh, yeah. So anyway, oh my gosh, I did. I missed you guys so much. I really did. I'm, I'm happy to, to be back tonight and chit chatting with you guys um hi kelly black hi see i didn't forget you darling um gave you gave you my shout out because she's such a sweet little girl uh she messaged me so i try to try to remember to give her a, a special little little shout out to Kelly, um, but yeah, I have, I have really missed you, I've missed diamond painting to be, uh, that I was really missing, cause, uh, I, I can't, the, my diamond painting's so big, yes, I bought a new desk, it is an eight foot desk, and it's wider than my other desks that I had, and, uh, so yeah, I got the room, However, you know, I can't, um, I can't have my diamond painting on my desk when I'm doing orders because I have to reach over it and I don't want to, you know, dent it up or anything. So, normally I just roll it up and I have one of those, uh, tubes, one of those black tubes that, uh, art tubes that I got from Hobby Lobby, and so I put, uh, I roll it up and put it in there, uh, to keep it up out of the way so it doesn't get damaged or nothing gets spilled on it or, or what have you, uh, or if it sits for a little bit, you know, the drills don't get faded out or what have you. I, I have not had that happen, but, um, uh, I have had people tell me that they have noticed that from time to time. They didn't say what kit it was, but they had, had set it down um, for a couple of months and had went back to it and come to find out that the drills had, I guess, faded or lost color or something. Um, so ever since I had seen that, that Facebook post about that, it was like, hmm, that, that could be a thing, because, I mean, anybody that's left curtains hanging in their windows, you know, that gets a lot of sunlight in the windows, yeah, you can notice it, how your curtains will fade, 
And I was like, well, okay. And I had those tubes from Hobby Lobby because um, they're kind of like craftabilities tubes. But... Oh, they're, they're art tubes. And the only difference is, you know, Hobby Lobby's is black and not purple. And I paid $5 for them uh, at Hobby Lobby on sale. So, can't beat that. I'll, I'll post the link down below. Again, if they're not on sale, Hobby Lobby has their sales like every other week. So, just, you know, keep going back to the, to the link until... Um, until they have them on sale again, because they were like five dollars, um, plus you know whatever taxes and and all that is. Um, now my hubby, Mister E, he went to the store and bought mine. So now if you buy it online, you're gonna have uh, shipping fees. So if you live by a Hobby Lobby. I would say maybe, you know, go scope them out and see if they've got them in stock. But, uh, yeah, they work really good. Um, matter of fact, I've got one completed in the other one that I have to take to Hobby Lobby and have it framed. So, um, and the only difference uh, is that once, if it's not completed, you roll it with the face in. And if it's completed with the drills on it, you roll it with the drills out. Um, if that makes any sense. And that's so the drills don't grind against each other. And when you roll it that away, um, the drills are up against the backing. And it protects the drills from getting all scratched up and, and broken or grinding against each other. And so, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. So anyway, oh gosh, I can't even remember what I started talking about. Let's see, uh, what am I talking about tonight other than, I don't know. I just turned on the camera and started talking. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I don't know about you guys, but my asthma's been bothering me a lot here lately. Um... I don't know if it's the weather change or pollen or what's going on. It got pretty, it got pretty bad yesterday. I, it kind of, kind of worried me a little bit. I got an inhaler, and I've been using my inhaler, but that's kind of a instant relief thing, and um, it it bothered me enough to where if. Um, I was thinking about calling my doctor and uh, talking to him because um, um, it hasn't been this bad in a long time. I had it really, really bad when I was a kid, uh, but I outgrew it a little bit. So normally it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother me to the point of where it worries me. Usually I'll take a couple of hits of my inhaler and I'm I'm fine. Um, but for some reason this year, um, or last couple of, couple of weeks, it's been giving me problems. So I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. They they said that that our weather is kind of crazy this year. Something about El Nino's coming back or whatever. Um, I don't go outside, you know, like when, when Mr. E cuts the grass and stuff like that. Um, I don't have cats or dogs. I do have ferrets, but, um, they're not, they, they don't have the same, uh, dander as a cat and a dog have. So, um, they don't, they don't bother my asthma, um. At all, at all, but then at the same time, I don't have them in my face either, so, but I'm not sure what's going on, um, I do have a doctor's appointment, uh, in December, hopefully this is gone by then, if not, I doubt, seriously, if I wait till December, uh, to go have my asthma checked out, but, uh, if it keeps up, yeah, Cause it's got it's got me a little worried, little little smidge worried. Uh, cause normally it doesn't it doesn't bother me, you know, uh, not consecutively. Let me put it that way. 
but here lately it's been, um, you know, go to bed with it, wake up with it kind of thing. So, um, but I mean, I'm fine, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not wheezing or anything like that. It's just my chest is heavy, uh, and I got a, I got a cough. So, and no, I don't have COVID for anybody else. No, I'm fine. Yes, I've had my shots, all that good junk. Those opposed to it, okay, yay, thanks for your opinion. I got my shot because I, I was around elderly people. And I didn't want to take the chance of making any of them sick. So, because trust me. I am petrified to death of needles. I did not want that shot. It had nothing to do with the pros and the cons of whatever, whatever. It's just I was scared to death of needles, and I didn't want it. And now they're talking about a booster. Hey, y'all got my butt in there not once, but twice. Guess what? I doubt seriously if there will be a third. I will become a hermit. I will stay home forever. Y'all done poked me twice. But, yeah, I'm, I'm petrified to death of needles. And, uh, so, that was, that was the reason why, uh, I didn't, I did not want to get the shot. But, uh, I, like I said, my quilting friends are elderly, elderly ladies. And, oh my gosh, I would have... I would have just felt horrible, you know, if if I would have uh, somehow or another given them, you know, COVID or, or something like that. Um, so, that's why I got the shot. But, um, yeah, I don't even know how I got on this topic. I swear, my brain is just checked out tonight. <laughs> checked. My brain checked out tonight. Ah, I was talking about my asthma. Um, but yeah, that is, um, that is why, uh, I got my shot was because of, because of my friends. I really, really was worried about, you know, giving it to them, because I'm, I'm pretty doggone healthy. Other than my asthma, that's about the only thing that's wrong with me. But, uh, I don't know why my, why my asthma's kicking up. I just, I have no clue. It's not like I've been out of my house or running around. So, I don't know, maybe it's got pollens in the air, or not quite sure. Um, we have had a rain, but, um, and we've had, you know, a couple of thunderstorms and what have you, but I mean, it hasn't been like constant rain. Uh, the leaves are drying up and falling. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. My asthma's, my asthma's funny. Uh, sometimes it comes up for no reason and, you know, so I, I have heard that your asthma can flare up uh, due to stress. And I haven't exactly been stressed. I've been busy. You know, I've been hustling, as they say, trying to make sure I get everybody's orders out on time. You know, make sure I got got uh, everybody's orders, you know, packed and filled and, you know, everybody happy and um, that kind of stuff. But as far as, like, <coughs> you know, stress stressing, nah. I haven't been stressing over over anything, not nothing that, nothing worth stressing over, let me put it that way, um, but yeah, all has been good, oh my god, I am sitting, literally, tonight guys, my brain literally has checked out, I have sit here rambled and can't tell you what I talked about five minutes ago, um, what do I want to talk about, let's see, hmm, yeah, ADHD is kicking in tonight, big time. Um, okay. What was I going to say? There was something I was going to tell you guys. I'll be doggone if I can remember what it is. Light bulb turned off. Give it a couple of minutes. It'll turn back on. And as we all know, we have our Zaxby's non-sponsored cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. 
Um, if you hear any scratching in the background, like that. I have five free range ferrets and we share my office. They are from the knee down. I am from the knee up. They get up. They do a little sketchy sketchy. They go get them a nibble. They get them some water. They go back to bed. Their bed is under my desk. Under my feet. So, yeah. But, um, so that is what you hear. Sid thinks he has an itchy. And... That ferret ain't got, that ferret's clean as a whistle. He ain't got nothing. He just thinks he does. Half the time he thinks he's scratching himself and he's scratching the floor. So, but anyway, um, let's see. Stay tuned, because, uh, here in the next couple of days... I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I have a couple of diamond paintings, Diamond Art Club diamond paintings to be exact, that I am going to be giving away. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's, it's a holiday giveaway. Um, I will be running a Thanksgiving. I did a Halloween sale at Nix's Notions. Uh, I will be running a Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday sale as well. So, you guys stay tuned for that. So, what else? Oh my gosh. Guys, I got, I'm going to take five and talk about this. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. I hope it's coming across really good. Because, oh my gosh. These colors are simply amazing. Now, I've told y'all many, many, many times. I'm not a big Christmas person. Okay? My holidays end October 31st. Normally, I shut the door, padlock the windows, turn the TV off, turn off the lights, and I go into hibernation until January the 5th. I unplug. Normally, nobody sees, hears, and or smells of me in between November 1st and January the 5th. Um, it is me. It is just a thing. That is what I do. Um, but anyway, this here, I have to admit, I thought that, I, I thought I was going to have to beat myself to do this. I really did, because it was like, eh, it's Christmas. Oh my God, we've had the past seven months of Christmas. What is it? Christmas starts in July now. And it's like, you know, it, it's like it didn't stop. They have the, what is it, Christmas in July, and then... The next thing you know, uh, all of the diamond, uh, all the diamond paintings literally just jumped over Halloween and Thanksgiving and went straight to Christmas. And I'm like, good gravy, people. So, uh, same with the stores. You know, I mean, it was like it ain't even it ain't even close to Halloween yet. You you already stocking the shelves, but with this kit here. I mean, I'm sitting here, let me move, move my tray out of the way here, I mean, look at these colors, look at it shine, see how it shines right there? I mean, I don't know what the difference is with these drills, the only other, now, I do a lot of Diamond Art Club, okay, and I can tell you, the only other place that I've seen drills glitter this much and they be just plain drills was in Little Dragon Z. And, oh my gosh, I don't know what they did to those drills or what they put on those drills, but uh, that little sucker sparkles. And they're not ABs. They're, they're just regular drills. That's like this here. They're just regular drills, but look at that. Look at all that shiny right there. Now here, that's ABs, okay? Oh, you got a you got a kind of a line right here, and those are A B's. But the rest of this is just regular drills, and I mean they are so pretty. 
this is coming out just really i love the drills and i mean granted i'm only like one fourth of the way in i ain't even put a dent in this sucker yet um oh and you see how you get the one drill that's stuck in here if when you get a tray regardless of who it's from get your handy dandy brand new not used brand new dryer sheet okay wad it up and if you will take and run your dryer sheet inside your tray regardless of whose tray it is or what tray it is mine or anybody else's if you will run that dryer sheet really good in there it stops the drills from sticking so yeah learn that trick real fast real quick um and it helped out a lot also too i cut up little bitty squares wait that's wrong wrong one i cut up little bitty squares of uh dryer sheet now i've tried pretty much everything that everybody has suggested uh to use even those uh downy unstoppables i tried those um didn't really like those too much it was like after a while the drills felt sticky so i didn't i didn't use those very long um, I use those on, um, on one kit. Um, and it was okay. They were just not my favorites. And honestly, I kind of went back to dryer sheets. They seem to, they seem to do the best. So, um, but yeah. What else was I going to say? I had something... It's on the tip of my doggone tongue that I was going to tell you guys. And I'll be doggone if I can remember what it is. See, there is nothing prettier than that. All your drills lined up. See? And look at that sparkle. That's, that just makes me happy. See? Don't take much to make me happy. But... No, there's nothing really exciting been going on other than the fact that, you know, just working, trying to, uh, trying to get everybody's, um, trying to get everybody's orders out. Oh, oh, I know what it was. I know what I wanted to tell y'all. Everybody was asking me. I found it. I found it. Da 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 da! I found it. There it was. Ellie, my ferret, stashed it in her stashy hole, in her toy hole. So yes, they they stashed it in there where they keep all their toys. So when I cleaned up my office when I got the new desk, I went through and uh, dug out all their toys. And washed and cleaned their bed and cleaned all the toys and everything. And sure enough, Miss Thing had stashed it in with, in with their toys. So I finally found it. Come, I got... Now, I make, okay, cover minders for a living. But this, I got on Day's Dream. And it's Day's Dream. I'll have the link listed below. And this I got with the very first diamond painting kit that I had done. And I love it. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's got a little weight to it. And it's got really good magnets on the back of it. Um, and I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. And Debbie contacted me tonight. And, and she got a couple of my trays. And it was like... Oh, wow, you're the lady from, from Day's Dream. And it's like, aha, okay, I'm going to go check again. Because I've been checking periodically to see if, especially when Ellie had toted this one off, 
I went back over there to go look and see if they had any more, and they didn't have dragonflies. Uh, they had a whole bunch of other beautiful stuff, but they didn't have any dragonflies. So, I didn't get anything. Well, when I popped back there this evening, sure enough, she had another dragonfly. So, I got dragonfly number two, and I got a frog. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'll show you guys when it comes in, but I wanted to let everybody know, I found it, I found it. It was driving me bonkers trying to figure out where that was. And Ellie had gotten up on my desk, which she's the mountain goat. Um, she jumps up in my chair and then she jumps up on my desk and she had knocked it off the desk and when she did, she commenced to drag it to their toy stash. So, I found it. Yay! See? Isn't it pretty? It's just, I don't know. I just really do. I like that one. And I, and I make them. I, I can make any kind you, you can think of, but I just fell in love with that one and I like that one. So, yes, I found my dragonfly for everybody that was asking. Um, oh, everybody kept asking me, did you find your dragonfly? Did you find your dragonfly? Yes, I finally found it. My, my ferret stole it. So, but yeah, that is the hazards of sharing your office with the ferrets. What hits the floor, belong, they think belongs to them. So, yeah, I'm being silly tonight, guys. Y'all know how it goes. I mean, hey, I'm me. I ain't about to change now. So, but yeah, I'm just rambling, but I wanted to pop on, let you guys know, yes, I'm still in the land of the living. I have not run away from home. Y'all will be seeing more of Christmas morning because I have, seriously, seriously guys, this is no joke. I have got the hammer on this bad boy. Usually if I stay at a piece and I mean like really hammer it out, I can get one this size done in about four weeks. Which is about what I got left. I got a little bit more than four weeks. But I still got to get it framed. Um, and and get it shipped. God, no. honestly, it must probably be cheaper for me to hand deliver it to Texas than it would be to mail this thing. But um, I'm going to try to have it framed and and ship it ship it to the kids and I would like for them to have it by you know Thanksgiving um that way cuz like I said they decorate uh for Christmas Thanksgiving night and so I would like for them to to have it then if not sooner so every waking moment I am going to be working on this so y'all are going to be seeing a lot of it especially when it's like hey y'all keep me awake I gotta keep diamond painting so y'all will see a lot of a lot of progress on this one and I'd show you more but this is all I got done right this minute is literally what you see so um and I did do an unboxing of it. Uh, link will be below, and um, so y'all can y'all can see the full thing in the unboxing. Uh, it really is a gorgeous piece. I'm not much for landscapes. I'm really not. I got this one, and I got an. I have one more. It's round. I really don't like rounds, but. It's for my friend for Christmas, my, my quilting friend, Nancy, and she likes country stuff, um, and I have the rail fence from Dreamers Design, and I can't remember the name of the other one, 
but it has its uh, sunflowers. I know you guys have seen it. Anybody that's, that's looked at Dreamer's Design has seen this one. Um, it's got the sunflowers in a vase, and it's got the the bonnet, the the wicker hat. Um, and I seen that one, and I thought that it she would like that one. Uh, it's huge as well. I doubt seriously if I get both of these done by Christmas, but she will get hers when I get it finished. Uh, cause that's what I'm going to be doing next after this. Um, that is my, I guess you'd say my two responsibilities for the holidays is this for my kids and the other one for Nancy. Um, and with it being rounds, you know, I can most probably blow through it pretty fast. Not a lot of confetti. I learned my lesson about that confetti. Wow. Man, that mask of love, that is full of confetti. And talk about slow you down. Seriously, man. I, I, I mean, I heard people, you know, moaning, groaning, and complaining about confetti. And... You know, it's like, oh, well, it don't bother me. You know, changing colors doesn't bother me. Well, you know, putting down two drills and then changing colors, two drills and changing colors, and repeatedly, yeah, that gets a little aggravating after a while. But Mask of Love is 75% done. So I got that one, um, I got that big, uh, I got a fourth left. Let me just put it that way. I have the bottom left uh, to do. And that's pretty much all solid. So I'm, I'm through most of the confetti part of it. So, um, yeah. So I, 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 did, I, I tried so hard to get that finished before... I opened this one. I really, really, really did not want to put it down. Um, because I'm, I'm scared that if I set something down, I'm not going to go back to it. Or I'm not going to want to go back to it. And I, I really didn't want to stop. But I knew between, you know, working Nix's notions and the kids you know, this here need needed to be done for the kids, that if I didn't stop, this wasn't going to get finished. So... Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, y'all like... Hey, y'all like my little text message? It's Minions! That had to be Mr. E. Who texted me? Uh, Yes. Okay, and that was that. Sorry about that, peeps. Sometimes you just get a text in the middle of a video, and you have to just stop and answer it. Especially when it's the other half. So, okay, what else can I do on here that I can see without the light? Uh... See? See that right there? Can y'all see that right there? That is them. That is them half square triangles. And they will drive you bonkers. So, and due to the fact that I don't have my light on, I think I'm going to stick with what I call the spider butt. It looks like, you ever seen on the back of a black widow how it's got that red, uh, the two triangles? That's what I call the spider butt. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see if I can find it. I'll show you. Okay, where are you at? You know what I know? There we go. Spider butt. See? Right there. See? 
All right, give me a minute. Let's see if I can. If you see fuzzy on the screen, it's me. I don't know if it, <laughs> I can't tell if it's fuzzy on the screen if my glasses need to be changed or changed and or cleaned. But that's spider bot. It reminds me of the back of a black widow. Because in the south, we have black widows. And alligators. And water moccasins. And a whole bunch of other stuff that tries to eat you. We, um... I'm in uh, Kentucky, right? And we have UK basketball. And I guess they were playing the Gators. Uh, I'm sorry. I, we are not a sports family. So, other than the New Orleans Saints and UK basketball, I really don't know a lot about sports. So, one of the guys was tailgating out at uh, Rupp Arena here where they... I, I guess it was basketball. Maybe it might have been football. I don't know. They were tailgating something. And they were... UK was playing against Gator people. Whoever the Gators are. And um, they were... Uh, they had a alligator on a barbecue. And they had shared it on Facebook. You know, where they were at. And that they were cooking up Gator and I always, in my unboxings, I always talk about my gator blade and about you always have a gator blade when you go in the swamp because there's things that try to eat you before you have the ability to eat them, right? Um, I don't know how that started, but it's, well, honestly, it's true. Um, so I went, I, I shared it on my Facebook and all my friends freaked out and they started messaging me saying you really eat alligator and I'm like oh yeah oh yeah we eat alligator trust me it is very very good um and and they just really they freaked out they didn't think you ate alligator oh yeah uh, and, and you eat things before they have the ability to eat you. So, honestly, an alligator, it really does taste like chicken. You can't tell the difference. Um, but it is, it's very good. And if you can get past the fact that, you know, mentally, it's an alligator. Um, it does, it tastes very good. I don't like turtle soup. There's a lot of, they, they, it's supposed to be this fine delicacy thing or whatever they charge in them. Uh, they have them in the fancy smancy, you know, restaurants, you know, turtle soup. Yeah, I, I can't do the turtle thing. It just does not taste good to me. I love oysters. I love shrimp. Uh, I have ate rattlesnake. Eh, tastes like chicken. Uh, I have eight squirrel. Um, again, it tastes like chicken. Um, what else? I'm Cajun. We pretty much eat everything. So, but yeah, I just, I, I don't like the turtle thing. It, and it, it doesn't have anything to do with mentally. It's just the fact that it didn't taste good. It did not taste like chicken. <laughs> Joke. ha. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but I posted that and everybody was freaking out. You really eat gator? Yeah, I eat gator. That's some, that's some good grub right there. Um, and crawfish and oysters. Oh my gosh, I really, I, you know why I miss home? I don't miss home because of the state. I miss home because of the food. I swear I need to go back to New Orleans. Just so I can pig out. I miss the food. No matter what they say. Because I try to cook here. And I'm a mean cook. And I try to cook. And I'm telling you. 
no matter what I do, it does not taste the same. And when they say that it's in the water, I have to agree. It's in the freaking water. The taste of the food is, it, it comes from the water and the river water of um, the Mississippi River. Because it just, no matter what I do, I cannot get it to taste the same. And I'm, I'm a mean cook. I can cook some gumbo and some jambalaya and red beans. I can cook all that. But it just does not taste the same. And in Kentucky, we're landlocked. So we don't have a lot of seafood here. Now, I was raised on seafood. And, uh, you know, not to ha and see everything that we have here is frozen. Well, when you buy stuff and it's frozen, it gets what, what we call mealy. Um, mealy. Um, how can I, how can I explain what that is? Um, grainy. It gets, it has this kind of grainy texture to it. Like, you can tell it's been frozen. It's not fresh. Or, like with oysters, you know, I'm sorry. The, the best oysters there are is for them to literally shuck them right in front of you and you slurp them straight out of the shell. Um, those are the best. But with us being landlocked, they come in this little bitty jar, you know, and I'm like, okay, that is, yeah, that, that is so not good, not appealing. And we've got a couple of good Cajun restaurants here. Um, the people are literally from Louisiana. And, you know, they, they give it that, that good old college try, as they say. But, again, you know, uh, it has a lot to do with, with the water. Um, you can put the ingredients in, but, you know, by the time it's all said and done, the water that you cook it in uh, has a lot to do with the taste as well. So, you know, I don't know. I keep saying I, I, I'm, I'm going home just to go eat. Because there is so many things that, I, that you know, are in New Orleans that are nowhere else. And even if people attempt to and or try to, it's still just not the same. So, but yeah, I thought it was funny. My friends were freaking out because the guy was barbecuing an alligator uh, and, a, and a tailgate party out in the parking lot. Like, yep, that'd be a thing. So, and I have to admit, okay, I am a diamond art girl, y'all know this, but I have to admit, these drills have got a lot of. I'm not sure what they are. Wobblies or nubblies or... I don't know what y'all call them. Uh, I kind of call them nubblies. There's a lot of... Not a lot of nubblies in them. It's kind of like a, a bunch of itty bitty rounds got tossed in with the squares. And they look good and you really don't see it in the bottle until you put them in your tray. But... Oh my gosh, it's almost an hour already, and all I've done is ramble. Okay. Uh, did I say everything I needed to say? Okay. Here's the new trays. I told y'all about that. Told you about the diamond painting. This is called Christmas Morning uh, from Diamond Art Club. I believe it was $79. Uh, my pen is on Nix's Notions. Um, my cover minder is from Day's Dream. I'll have the link listed below. Um, what else? I guess I will do my shout outs. And yes, I'm back to the living. And yes, Nix's Notions is caught up. Woohoo! Party, party, yay! Alright, so I would like to say 
Thank you to Jim Weeder and his lovely wife um, for being a Buy Me a Coffee channel supporter. Also, I would like to say thank you to Joy Martin, Everything Diamond Painting, for becoming a Buy Me a Coffee channel supporter. Joy has a YouTube channel of herself uh, called Everything Diamond Painting. Make sure you check out her fabulous uh, YouTube channel. The link will be listed below. Thank you guys so very much for being for supporting me and supporting my YouTube channel. I would also like to say thank you to Kendra Francisco and Michelle Oriold, Oriold, uh, for buying me cups of coffees. Uh, if you would like to help support my channel, you can be like Jim and Joy and become a channel supporter for a very small monthly fee. Or you could be like uh, Kendra and Michelle and buy me one cup of coffee. Uh, if you would like to make a one-time donation, I have PayPal me as well. However, with that said, please do not feel like you have to do anything. You don't. You being here is joy enough for me. Thank you so very much for being here. Please know how grateful and how appreciated you are, all of you. Um, so, with that said, if you would like to see more of Nix's Notions YouTube videos, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and that will notify you when I upload more crazy, crazy videos, uh, and unboxings, because trust me, I got a ton coming, I am so behind on my unboxings, but I have... I have heard you guys. I have listened. You keep telling me, hey, Nix, I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget. Trust me. To go check out my last three videos. Those were budget-friendly videos. I am looking for budget-friendly places for you guys. Okay? So as soon as I find them, I buy them and I, I put them up. So I will also be doing um, uh, giveaways here soon, uh, and like I said also, Nix's Notions will be running Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday sales as well, so y'all keep, keep an eye out for that. So, if you like this video, if you liked me and my rambling, give it a thumbs up. Please take that old mouse, slide it over there on top of that thumb, and give it a good banging. So, because that is greatly, greatly appreciated, and it really, really does help out my channel a whole lot. So, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. So, this is Nick's Dark Sky saying be happy, be crafty, and above all else, please, please be kind. It only takes one second of kindness to make somebody's entire day. Bye, guys. Love you bunches. Catch you on the flip side.